what's going on guys Hayden here also known as Zebs bringing you another tutorial and uh, this tutorial will be on how to use the pen tool which if you've been following designs Academy for a while you you know that we've already made a tutorial on this but uh, that was really early in designs Academy when we didn't really have any subscribers or viewers or any of that so it was really like a tutorial that wasn't there basically and uh, now that I have my new mic, the quality will be better and all that because when I made the tutorial, I had to use my headset, which did not have a very good microphone on it. So now that I have better quality and I can make it more in depth. So for a pen tool, I got a couple of re requests on how to use it. So I like to start off by most people think that pen, well, most people do this for the pen tool. So like, for, for a line, it's normal, you know, it's kind of like that. But when it comes to a curve, this is when they start to do this. Which, I mean, you could do this, but, I mean, it's not going to be like an actual curve. It's just going to be really straight lines, sort of. Like, it's not going to be a legit curve. Like, if you're going to put this logo that you made you need to AI it to put it in cinema, but if you put it in cinema by doing this, then it's gonna look really, really bad looking and sloppy. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a correct curve like this. It's like something like that. So let's start off with the very basics here. Um, to make a you know straight line, uh, well, actually, let's go even before that. Always, when you use the pen tool, you would think you just kind of go like that, but you really don't. You gotta, you always gotta make a new layer just in case. You never know. So you make a new layer, then you select the pen tool, and then you could start filling out your uh, logo design, whatever it is that you need to use the pen tool for. And then, as you can see here. Um, if this place right here doesn't really line up, like, well, here actually, let me go in more depth with how the curve works. So, for example, if for a straight line, it's pretty straightforward, you just kind of click, you know. But for a curve, it's a little bit more straight, well, takes a little bit more skill to use. So basically, to make a curve, you just gotta click, hold, don't let go of the clip, and then move your mouse for like move your mouse down to start bringing the getting a curve but as you can see it's not really of a good curve so to fix that you kind of just gotta while holding it down just kind of move it right and down at the same time and as you can see here now it's a clean nice curve here and then another mistake people do is uh, they have their thing filled out and then they just keep continuing on like that which is wrong and it can well it's not wrong but I mean it can really mess your your stuff up so to fix this you just gotta whoops, whoops, yeah, let me just make a curve really fast to fix this uh, I don't know what the Mac key is shortcut but for Windows it's uh, alt and then you just gotta click this little white square that's in the middle of this line right here and when you do this that basically cuts off this little bottom piece that causes that problem so once you do that then basically this little point is this little point for this curve if that makes sense so like if I click here it's gonna start as a straight line and then you could do the curve again so like that hold alt oops, alt like that like so and then you could do your your thing again by making filling out the thing oops and then yeah like so also another thing is uh, once you have your pen tool filled out um, what you've got to do is you want to right click your thing just anywhere just right click as long that's when the layer comes in because you did the pen tool on this new layer which basically reads the pen tool as that layer so wherever I click it'll read this little sele selection here so once you have that, you make it a selection. Don't mess with any of this. And then as you see, it made a, a selection here. And then you could go up to here, right click, and then 
with this new layer you could go fill select color and then you can make it whatever you like so then that's a you well I guess you could say unique shape but that's how people make their logos and stuff using pen tool but I'm gonna fill this out this is my logo out which I I made it with pen tool I made the Z and stuff all with pen tool uh, but that's basically the basics of the pen tool so I'm just gonna quickly do so I'm obviously not gonna make it perfect since yeah that would take time uh, most people they think that uh, you can learn the pen tool overnight which I mean you can't you can't it actually takes time to learn it and master it like I'm alright at the pen tool I'm no like expert in it but I mean I have enough experience where I can use it and get good stuff out of it so uh, it does take a little bit of practice to do getting the right curves and stuff like that like for example if I was to go down here and can't if you can't get the exact shape you kind of you might have to like go right here which to make that right shape or get it like in the right outline like pen tool is really important for when you're cutting out stuff obviously uh, photo manipulation uh, you could lighting I mean you could use the pen tool for a lot of things because make logos with it I mean it's a lot pen tool is really important Photoshop tool but basically that was a sloppy job on that but that's basically how you do it and then fill bam you got your your logo you got half of a circle with the thing out of it. there's your logo and let me show you another tool which if you don't know how to make things in AI all you got to do is uh, you could either pen tool it make it a selection which I got right here and then once you do this you gotta right click and then you gotta make it a work path right here and then you make the tolerance uh, you wanna make it oh 0 0.8 I guess as you can see it's kinda sloppy done which due to the fact that Photoshop uses pixels so basically it's gonna like if you notice if you zoom in a lot it's kinda shades of green so you kinda gotta work with that to make it as close as possible because in, in not in After Effects in uh, Illustrator it's done by uh, I can't remember what it was but it's, I know it's not pixels so it's a lot easier to get a more uh, accurate logo out of it but once you have your work path here uh, actually work path uh, selection uh, make work path good and then go file export and then paths to illustrator and then work path okay and then this is the save as wherever you could save it so that's how you can make it an AI and then you just open it up to Cinema 4D but hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys this was a requested tutorial and a remake of a t an earlier tutorial uh, this one was a little bit more in depth depth than the other one so hope you enjoyed it guys if you want to stay up to date with us follow us on Twitter soon to be Facebook or if you want to buy some merchandise from us you can so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys which I just said twice well anyway peace